Hello, today I would like to show you something interesting. Over here on my desk we've got some vintage military tourniquet. When you think about the CAT, the Combat Apply Tourniquet, you most likely see a device like this. So you put your limb inside and you've got that handle, you're spinning it and you are making it tighter and this allows you to cut the blood circulation to like a limb. So if you've got an amputation or if you are being shot or stabbed and there is a massive blood loss, you can apply it upper and you can cut the circulation and prevent the blood loss. And I start seeing this popular from like 20 years ago when the military and police start wearing this as a standard issue device. This is just a cheap Chinese knockoff that I use for training. Of course, I do not apply a real pressure to limb because you shouldn't do it, but just for training because the real one is single use only. After you apply it, it should be thrown away. But I've got a feeling that this device came like from a 20 years ago. But I found those devices that are currently in my collection. All of them are at least 70 years old. I do not have any date because there is nowhere stated. You can clearly see they are old. That's because you've got absolutely no plastic, no nylon, no velcro, only metal, canvas and wood in case of this. And if you take a look at this device, it really do not differ that much from the modern unit. We've got the exactly the same handle that over here is made out of beautiful wood element and you are going to create a first stage of pressure like this and then you've got this wooden handle to create a more pressure and afterward I would assume that you are going to put it like this and secure and it's mimic exactly what you do with the modern one. So that was at least like a 60 or 70 years ago. You've got exactly the same principle. Here we've got another tool and they've got completely different build. We do not have that wooden handle. I was pretty sure they were designed for like a clinical use when taking a blood sample just to expose your veins. Here we've got the user manual, caution, loosen tourniquet every 20 minutes, but do not remove it if bleeding does not begin, leave tourniquet loosely in place if bleeding begins, allow to spurt three times and tighten again. Pratt manufacture, cold water, Michigan, made in USA. And as you can see, if there if we've got like a massive bleeding, then that was definitely designed for like a amputation or other situation, not just for a drawing a blood samples. We've got that beefy metal bracket. This one looks very similar, but if you take a look, it do not have a same markings on the buckle. And it is a uh, pretty similar. So this is how they present. So this is how they present. I'm going to tell you one more time. I was absolutely shocked how close they were looking and that so many years need to elapse until it become a popular thing that everyone can carry on their tactical vest. Absolutely amazing. We go from this into that. Absolutely 
beautiful. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.